Hi, so in the beginning I didn't want to make this video, but for a Friday I want to do something lighter and also my plasma repositories are still compiling, so I didn't have anything better to do. And if you have video suggestions, now is the best time. So let's see what Linus did and I have never saw this video before because I was afraid it was going to be depressing, but let's at least try to take something nice out of it and let's jump right into it. So does it actually start like that? Death to Microsoft! The open source community Th is ready to send you to that's your beautiful. grave! I just like imagine him getting painted in the face to do this scene and just start thinking like that. Beautiful. Is this like... Your tyrannical reign over PC gamers is at an end! Is what I would say if I lived with Linus Wallace the third over here. That's very smart. I love that opening. Like that's the best introduction introduction you can do there to a video. I love it. In Fantasyland, where any of that was true. So far, the one month Linux gaming challenge. Yeah, for the last video, I gotta say it was right. Like the fact that Pop Pop OS got uninstalled or at least tried to uninstall itself, even on the software, graphical software uh, manager, uh, that was unacceptable. Honestly, I, I would have gone mad with Linux as well if that had been my first experience. Like I was honestly shocked that it didn't like take the computer and throw it out the window. I, I would have done that. Challenge has been as advertised, a challenge. And in part two, Luke and I are gonna be taking it to the next level by not just gaming on Linux. With our desktop environment set up. Yeah, but which one? That's Kitty Plasma, clearly. That is Dolphin. This is what, Discover? That's Discover for sure. This is Steam. This is Gwenview. What's that? Some uh, Manjaro application, I guess. And over there is OBS Studio. That's my best guess. Did I guess them right? Let me know. We both use Elgato key lights, which we've always controlled using Windows software, so we'll both need to find a workaround for that. And that looks pretty. Can I have one? Are they expensive? I gotta check. I tried to apt get OBS, the industry standard for desktop Sounds capture and streaming, in the reasonable. terminal, only to discover that Manjaro, the Linux distribution that I'm using, doesn't come with apt because. <laughs> Okay, that's amazing. Okay, he tried to up get on Manjaro. Okay, Linus, I gotta say, <laughs> use Discover, please. Please use Discover. That was a good try though. Because apt is for managing packages on Debian and related. When I said that's reasonable, I had forgotten that it was on Manjaro. OS's. Oops. Making life more difficult, the message that comes up when you try to execute the command doesn't say, hey, you should probably be using Pac-Man, you dunce. It tries to install some kind of dependency for apt, really? then just quietly fails and prompts you to do the same thing again when you try to use it. What? Yeah, I gotta say, these things can be confusing. Like, I'm of course on Ubuntu, so the opposite, but if it's like, but it can be installed with sudo apt install pacman, Pac that would be weird if I didn't know what I'm doing, but I guess the problem is that I wouldn't know what I'm doing. Speaking of which, I had a panic moment when I checked OBS compatibility and found out that it is actually unsupported in Arch, by the way, and its derivatives. But the good news is that upon launch, I was immediately relieved to find that it works exactly as expected, with some exceptions. I gotta say, I started using OBS last week and it's working so nicely, except it's a bit slow for me, but again, new computer coming soon, so never mind. For example, the NVENC new encoder doesn't show up as an option, which appears to be down to NVIDIA's okay, pooptastic drivers on Linux. About. Side note that the Linux community was grousing about NVIDIA primarily for their locked down proprietary approach to things, and that it had less to do with the actual quality of the product. Now I properly understand that it is definitely both. As I gotta say that delivery of jokes from Linux is very nice. Like, uh, it's nice to hear from him. Mentioned, core product functionality from like a couple of years ago is missing. 
the control panel looks like it's from 10 years ago, and the interface is kind of confusing. By the way, what's that font? I, I don't know if I would do if I would use it. There might be a good reason to use it, but whoa. Thankfully, I was able to enable G-Sync on my display, but for whatever reason, you allow it in order to actually turn it on, which you then verify in a completely different tab. And this kind of confusion is not a deal breaker. For me, acquiring OBS was no problem. I just got it from the package manager oh, and it was all okay. Once sense. installed though, we noticed something. Yeah. Window capture on Linux can be a little problematic. If we couldn't seem to get it working manage. at all at the start. I had an option for it, but it didn't work. And Linus didn't even have that. But a few days later, I tried it again for a different project and it worked just fine. I checked in with Linus and his did too. Neither of us know, us know what might've fixed it, but that's cool. Yeah, that's readable. I don't know what fixed it, but it got fixed so nice. I guess. The bigger issue for me, get ready to install Windows in a virtual machine, oh. pass those devices through, no, configure them, and then hand them back over to Linux. Seriously? It's Ooh. extremely tedious yeah. and doesn't even remotely restore full functionality. For example, whatsoever. But wait, there's a solution. All I have to do is follow these simple instructions to download a random script off GitHub and run it with it help me figure out my GitHub download. So it turns out that right click save target as gets you an HTML file in .sh clothing because I don't know, some borderline arbitrary reason. No, I'm sorry, but this is not a borderline arbitrary reason. It's that GitHub doesn't implement a custom right click context menu. Come on, if you go on any, any, a web page and do right click save page as it saves the HTML of the page. That's pretty normal. Normal. It's like Drive as an example does a custom context menu, so it and it can actually override the default behavior. But the default behavior is HTML, and it has nothing to do with Linux. Like the fact that GitHub is missing that feature is not because of Linux. Linux doesn't run GitHub by a for sure. Actually, it's Microsoft, so you should be blaming Microsoft there. And in order to get it to be an actual .sh file, I had to copy it into a text editor, Kate, and then save that as a script and execute it in. No, <laughs> that's not how you download files from GitHub. There's a download zip button or you clone the repository, which I understand is harder, but you can just download the zips. You do not copy paste the content inside of Kate as much as Kate is nice and I love using it. Faders work. I even have my button until- That's Cave Story. I love that game. Come on, where is it? Cave Story is- My faders work. I even- Cave Story is like one of my very favorite games. I played it as a children. If you haven't played Cave Story, go play it because it's so awesome, like beautiful. Once I got Pamac figured out, getting comms going was surprisingly simple. Pamac is... Is Pamac super... I don't remember. I remember using Pamac like years ago when I used Manjaro, but I thought it got discontinued or something, I guess not. The only really difficult thing was choosing the right package to install for Discord. There's regular Discord, and then there's Canary Discord, whatever that is. I chose the most official looking package, and I was up and running almost immediately once I found- Not only there's like Discord and Canary Discord, but there's also, also Discord Flatpak, Discord Snap, Discord- this thing that when you want to install something, there's like 10 versions of it is so annoying. And you even get li get it like in the terminal. If you write in the terminal uh, an application an application you don't have, it's like you could install it from apt and you get that version or from snap and you get that version. And well, Flatpak, I don't actually get any pop-up. So I guess it's not supported because I'm sure that Flatpak does have some stuff too. So this all, this difference is so, so annoying. And I think that there's some solution that should be found and probably is distros gotta at some point become 
like opinionated about which where to install uh, packages from like if ubuntu decides to go full snap and stops actually asking the user if you if uh, they prefer snaps or from other stuff uh, because otherwise i don't quite see a nice solution if you don't have to if you don't if you can't and you can't explain to the user what snaps and flat packs and stuff is super convenient per application volume mixer in the bottom right corner super convenient he said it corner the interface is kind of kludgy like scrolling with your mouse wheel scrolls through both the audio devices and the levels yeah this was fixed of the i think I don't know, it's some, someone was working on it at least. Individual devices, which is not great. But other than that, it works really well and my first voice call to Luke went completely without a hitch. Well, at least it's, it was overall a good experience. I do think that the sound applet is pretty good and a strong positive point for those who want to use KD Plasma. Part almost immediately when my Discord package didn't show up in the list where it's supposed to be for me. To Uh, this ain't the first time, is it? Is Linux like always like this? Oh yeah, it's broken. Try restarting or waiting a week or so and uh, it will get back uh, to normal. That being said, there- Wait, 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 wait. Look at there again. I mean, come on. Except if it wasn't for the icon. And there's even like a green tick. But the fact that the first result is called Discord. I mean, how would a user know how to differentiate between the two? And if you do want your users to install this one, which has the icon, the green tick, why isn't it, isn't it first? If you search for Discord, the most appealing option should come first. Why is it? It has more reviews, that's why. They're worse, but they're more. I guess that's the reason behind it. Uh, it seems to have been fixed by the developers or... Try to click the open containing folder button, just nothing happens. Is this a bug of Discord or is it bigger? Because in Telegram, that happens to me very frequently as well. I wonder, like right click, open containing folder I wonder if it's the same thing. I have no clue whatsoever. So stay tuned for part three, where Luke and I are going to be trying to get as many games up and running as possible, no starting with Twitch's top 20 and then expanding into some of our personal favorites. Okay, that was it. Okay, I got to say that people told me, oh, you got to see the video. It talks about Kitty Plasma. Yeah, sure, for like five seconds. There's nothing, nothing to say from here from me here, sorry. Especially because I don't personally game almost at all. I think the only video games I've played consistently consistently, are Cave Story, as I've said before, and like Kerbal Space Program, if you know that one. And Kerbal Space Program does work natively on Linux. And Cave Story kind of as well, uh, with some third party thingies and, but, I don't game, I don't stream games. I stream my desktop, like have at it. This is my desktop. Not particularly interesting. I don't have much to say. So sorry about such an empty video. These things happen. Hopefully it won't happen again in the future. And stay tuned for tomorrow when I'll actually manage to compile everything. Yes, I've been like for four days trying to compile again my latest version of Plasma Workspace, Plasma Desktop and so on. And when I actually manage to, I'll get back to actually working on KDs. So sorry about that and stay tuned, blah, blah, blah. Sorry about the video again. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of guilty. Okay, I'll, I'll say it, I'll say it.